what is going on youtube it's your boy xdg back again on the gta x channel how y'all doing all right today i'm going to walk you guys through the install of the new gta save editor 3.0 it came out pretty much a week ago i know i've been slacking on the gta content honestly it's been real crazy out in these gta streets man some of you guys know that came over from the xdg channel we got some strikes on the channel on gta content from what i thought was take two interactive it turns out there's possibly independent parties that's actually sending these strikes to our channels. A lot of it has been rumored to be Russians or something, but I have no idea. I'm hearing conflicting stories from all directions, so I honestly at this point don't know what to believe. I will say it is pretty strange. Some channels are being striked and affected and even losing their channels, while other channels, it's just business as usual. So I was actually about to do a bulletproof Beth method video and I finally Found out a creator by the name of SCG did a video and another creator striked his channel. Uh, I just think that's totally ridiculous. It's pathetic. And I'm just going to stay away from YouTube and GTA hardcore content for now because I mean, this thing is just getting worse and worse and it just doesn't make sense. Now, I did create this channel for all GTA and Rockstar content. I will continue to upload gta content here but right now i'm just not with it it's literally a bunch of bullshit going on and until things get settled i'm not going to be doing glitch videos all right guys anyway so with that being said let's go over here to xb36 hazards twitter page and for all you guys that have save wizard and save editor i recommend you guys following this page please go ahead right now and follow this page a lot of you send me questions on the save editor this is the best resource to find anything you need on the save editor what i do i usually just come on here every now and then and just scroll through the comments and see what's going on uh, right now i also implore you guys to go ahead and donate to xb36 hazard i mean none of this would be possible if we did not have the gta save editor right all right so i'm actually going to pull up my save editor right here and just show you guys where i'm at right now all right so as usual you will get this pop-up letting us know that an update is actually available i never ever ever hit yes i mean you guys can do that you can try that but i never hit yes ever so if you're just gonna say no let the save editor load up all right and right here you guys can see i am right now on 2.9.1.0 so i'm just going to close this out right here and before we get started i'm actually going to go to this tweet right here on the xb36 hazard twitter page because this is a pretty much big update it's going from two to three so i want to check this out so there seems to be quite a few changes he has a little scrolling video here i'm actually not going to go through all that you want to go to the comments all right so you're going to click that right there now he says everyone will need to download the resources master.db all right all right guys we're going to go ahead and hit the download link right here and we're going to hit this green button right here it says download the installer now you won't be downloading the actual program you're going to actually be downloading the installer all right and this is updated pretty frequently guys All right, so we have our download right here. I'm just going to make a folder. Call that the SP36 installer 4001. Drag that in there. And we're going to extract it here. All right, guys, make sure you have a WinRAR on your computer, all right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and start this up. All right, guys, so right here, you should get this installer. Of course, this installer has all of XB36's projects. So there's the Red Dead Redemption Save Editor, of course, GTA Save Editor, Saints Row, Anarchy. You got a bunch of stuff here, guys. This dude puts in the work, man. Big shout outs to him. I'm actually going to go into my programs and uninstall that previous version of the GTA Save Editor. It's just something I like to do just to be safe so that there's no conflicting files or anything like that. Let's go ahead and uninstall that. All right, once we get our Nodi, that all files have been uninstalled. That's it. Let's close that. Go ahead and hit install. But as you can see right here, you get a pop up saying unable to find resource master. All right. All right. So if you go back to XB36's Twitter page and we go back to these comments, you can see Rubino said download the master file and then open the save editor program. A screen will appear for you to open the master file. Open this master file that will complement the download of the new version. So you actually need to hit yes to go to the download page. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to download this file right here. 
All right, guys, so after you've downloaded that resources master, you just want to go ahead and click that. It'll say editor will now close. Please restart for update to take effect. So you're just going to hit OK right there. It automatically closes. We're just going to open it back up. And voila, we have our new version 3.0.0.1. I'm just going to go ahead and open a quick file right here. Just want to make sure the components are showing. Uh, I've been having a lot of people telling me the pictures are not showing. All right, so as you can see on this file right here, everything shows perfectly all right I see that's all good open a car mod file let's open something All right, so our two cars that are on this file show up and we change the character to Franklin and we go to the impound. So the cars are here showing up. Seems like everything's working pretty good. I will start uploading more GTA content, guys, as soon as all this BS blows over. Until then, I'm going to chill out for a bit. So all you guys need to do, make sure you're subscribed, turn those post notifications on so you don't miss any of the content. So there you have it, guys, how to update your GTA save editor to the new version 3.0.0.1. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if it's helped. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.